Hello and welcome back. Alright, this video is the continuation of the previous video where I discussed the first aspect of the Rig Genesis add-on. So this is a Blender add-on designed to help rig an anime Genesis figure from Daz in Blender. Um, I recommend you watch the first video if you haven't done that and so you're up to speed on what was discussed. Alright, so now let's look at this second aspect which is the animation aspect of the add-on. One very crucial thing about this part of the add-on is this GNS rig and this is an entirely separate rig which can also be used to manipulate the character. Uh, it can be toggled on and off by clicking on this button. And this GNS rig is the original amateur exported with the figure from DAS Studio. So it primarily serves the purpose of copying animations either from Mixamo or DAS Studio. Um, but first I'll have to import an animation into the scene before it can do that. So now I'm going to click the get Mixamo button up here and um, this of course directs us to the Mixamo website um, by automatically launching uh, your default browser. Um, all I need to do now is log in and then um, I'm going to continue with Facebook. So after the page is loaded, I'll just come over to this search box to look for an animation of choice. Uh, I'm going to look for a run animation, so I'll just type run. And now I'll pick from the results. I think I'll go with this. And I'll then come over here and click in place. This will have the figure remain in place so it doesn't run off the scene. Now I'll click the download up here and in this download settings, I'll, I'll leave everything as it is except for the skin and I'll be changing this to without skin and this is because the rig is all we need. We do not want the extra images. It reduces the file size and also it loads faster in Blender. So uh, I'm going to hit download and then um, return to Blender when it's all done. Okay, back in Blender. So I'll click this little import button and then I'll go to my download folder. And you can see I've gone through the trouble of downloading few extra animations. So uh, I'm going to select fast run here and I'll drag out this import settings and then choose my saved preset and then I'll select imported BX. So uh, once the amateur is loaded into the scene, I'll just simply hit bind and selecting play should have the character copy the animation. The genus rig does not always perfectly deform with the figure when copying animations. Um, the shoulders you can see are somewhat angled downwards and also the legs are somewhat crossing into each other. Uh, so I'm going to pause this now and show you how to fix that. All right, so let's start with the shoulders. Over here where it says adjust, I'll click this to go into this drop down list and then select the bone that needs adjusting. So I'm going to select shoulder and then click this button and then slightly drag up to have it um, level up a bit. I can adjust the upper arm as well. Let me also fix the legs. I can adjust it however I please by just clicking and dragging up and down. And I can do this for several other body parts, such as the neck, uh, the head, uh, I can now just hit play to see what the animation looks like. And while the animation is playing, I can of course play around with the adjustment to see uh, what this looks like, uh, mostly for the purpose of demonstration. Also note that right clicking would revert the bone back to its previous position. Alright, so when I'm satisfied with the adjustment, I'll select the big button and wait for it to do its thing. And when that is done, I will rename the animation here in this action editor where all animations will be automatically saved So, So now I'm going to demonstrate the important one more time with a different animation. I'm going to be time lapsing through the process to speed up the video a bit.
Alright, so now after baking the second animation into the action editor, I should be able to switch between the animations down here. Um, yeah, this clock button here readjusts the frame range to fit the animation. Um, let me change the animation so you see what I mean. Okay, I might have to drag up the timeline. So now if I change the animation back to fast run and then click this button, you should see that the frame range was adjusted to match and the length of the animation. Uh, so now let's just get an animation from DAS Studio and see how that's done. Okay, so now in DAS Studio, we can get an animation from either um, Genesis 2 or 3 or Genesis 8 figures. And um, I'm going to go with Genesis 3 for now. And once that is loaded, I'll switch to file up here and now select animations. I'll then select this uh, spot bounce work cycle. And now I'll switch my workspace to pose and animate. I'll then hit play for the preview of the animation. And um, okay, let me stop the animation and then right click on this empty space and then select bake and yes. Okay, switching to the timeline now, we shall see that all these keyframes were baked to the timeline. So this is what it's telling us. All right, so now I'm going to quickly change the resolution level to base and drag this to zero. And then now go to file, then export. And then I'm going to choose my folder. Um, I'll rename the file and then hit enter. Uh, so now you want to check animations because this is what we came in here for. And then you're going to uncheck collect textures to folders. So now I'll just select accept and then switch back to Blender. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the import and then select the file. Uh, I'm going to use the same preset as before and then I'll select import FBX. All right, so once that is loaded into the scene, I'll select this convert to Mixamo button. And this only appears when there's a Genesis figure imported to the scene with animations. All right, so now let me hit play and then select bind. Okay, now I'll just make some adjustments to the animation. And um, when I'm happy with the adjustment, I can simply select Big. All right, so now I can use these actions in my NLA editor for a good storytelling or even export the actions for gaming in Unity or in Unreal Engine. So um, that will be all for this aspect of the add-on. So in the next video, I will show you how you can create lip sync using the lip sync aspect of this add-on. So ensure to check that and also ensure to check the description for more information such as, you know, how to get the add-on. And please remember to just drop your thoughts, any question you might have or issues you might have with the um, add-on. And please ensure to drop that in the comment and I'll try to um, respond as quickly as I can. Thank you for your time. Till we see you again in my next video. Bye.